what's up you guys? So this is Steven Tilly from Tilly Vlogs, a Tilly Vision Studio production. Anyway, so I went about two videos ago and I said for you guys to ask me some questions and so that we can get to know each other. So you guys responded tremendously. My Twitter feed got blown up. You guys direct messaged me on YouTube. So yeah, so we're gonna take your questions and I'm gonna answer them for you today. So without further ado, let's get to it. Let me grab my iPad here and get logged into Twitter real fast. Okay, question number one. Right here, you can see it. It comes from Noah, HBT Hagoon. At that boy Breezy. Do you take shampoo and conditioner bottles from hotels? So this is an inter interesting thing. About three months ago, I got sent to Philadelphia for my job. And, well, let's see. Do I take shampoo and conditioner bottles from hotels? Let's take a look. So, as I look to see, let's see, I got conditioner, shampoo, soap, body lotion, body lotion, more shampoo, more bath soap. So, do I, this is just a little bit, but do I take conditioner and shampoo from hotels? Maybe this should, uh, maybe this should tell you. All right, so question number two. Right here, this one comes from the Angry Grandpa Fan 3001. It's an Angry Grandpa Fan 3001. Would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees? So I come from Kansas. So in Kansas, we don't have bears. So I never had to worry about bears, but we did have bees. And if you got stung by bees, you didn't have just like these little zzz. No, no, you had zzz, like, like big, big bumble jumbo bees. And you, man, if you got stung from them, you may have to go to the hospital, but I've never had to deal with the bear. But a couple days at work, somebody showed me a video where there was a bear that was climbing a tree. So am I scared of bears? No way. But maybe I would if I actually saw one. So I would be, uh, I would rather be attacked by a bear than a swarm of bees, only because I've never been attacked by a bear, but I have from bees. Next question right here from Devin Dean at DMCDKC. Can you curl your tongue? Well, let's take a look. Uh, I can do that, but that's about it. That's all I can do. I can't do anything. Next question from the Magical Panda at iMagicalPanda. Do you believe in ghosts? So this is an interesting thing. About 10 years ago, I used to want to be a ghost hunter. That's what I wanted to be. I went and I bought a $3,000 camcorder. Now keep in mind that 10 years ago, a $3,000 camcorder, we were talking about like the high-tech stuff. But these days, yeah, it would be nothing. So I went, got everything that you could think of for ghost hunting. Uh, the electromagnetic field EMF detectors. We got uh, the, the, the $3,000 camcorder, uh, voice, speakers, video record, or, uh, audio recorders. We got everything. and. When I say we, I say I, because nobody else believed in ghosts and the ghosts where I was from. So I went and I was working for my dad at what was called Mission Clay Products in Pittsburgh, Kansas. So one overnight, I was like, well, I'm going to go and I'm going to search for ghosts. So when I was on a break and lunch, I went, I took my $3,000 camcorder and I just went out. I was like, I am going to catch a ghost and I'm going to prove to these people that I am, you know, that the ghosts really exist and that I, Stephen Tilly, am a avid ghost hunter. So I went and I was walking by the restroom one day and or, or this particular night and out of the corner of my eye I saw somebody standing in the bathroom. Now it was very scary and I, like I didn't get them on camera but isn't that how everything works? It's like you see it but you don't record it. Well this was another instance. Um, but that same night, I went and down a long high, uh, uh, hallway, I saw like these deep red eyes. Now you would think that it might have been an animal or something, but there was no light. It was dark. It was completely dark. There was a light on this side where the bathrooms were. There was nothing on that end. And so there was no light that was able to reflect in the in the animal's eyes or whatever it was. But it was like red, like two red light uh, eyes. It's right there. 
freaked me out. And so, but I haven't been able to ghost hunt since. However, if there's a ghost hunter out there that wants somebody to tag along, you can ask me and I'll be there in an instant. All right, let's get logged back in here. If you hear that little chirping, it's the crickets for my uh, beardy, so I apologize for that. All right, right here, Cody Malone, uh, Cody T. Malone. When are you going to begin your insanity transformation? So it's going to happen pretty soon. My whole goal and vision for this channel was when I first started, I was going to go and do my six or two months of insanity, 60 days of insanity, and 90 days of P90X. Now, so if anybody know, knows, two years ago, this was me. And this is how I, I, I got this from 60 days of insanity, 90 days of P90X, I ate healthy, I ate right, I was motivated, I just was doing great things. But in that two years, I went from Kansas to California, California to Seattle, and I just, I lost it. I, I started eating unhealthy, I was drinking soda, the diet, diet Pepsi. Uh, now, it was Dr. Pepper. Oh, here's a good example, Dr. Pepper. And so, I haven't started yet because there's a lot of stuff that's happening in my life. You know, you can look at the videos and you saw that someone busted out my window. And it's just, when you have to spend a lot of money to fix what you what you fought for in life, it just is depressing. And when you go and you start these type of transformations, you have to be mentally motivated, physically motivated. You have to be ready to eat healthy, act right. And I'm not at that point yet, but I am very soon. Insanity is coming, and insanity is coming very soon. So stay in touch. Next one right here comes from Ricky Summer at Ricky Summer. Walmart, Target, or Kmart? Well, I can't speak for Kmart. I've never shopped there. So we'll just take Kmart and kick it out. But Walmart or Target? I support Target only because Target keeps its jobs within America, or at least that's what the research says. Since Walmart takes most of their distribution, most of their jobs, and they take it outside of America, then I don't support that. I support the companies that support America, that support, support us and jobs, and that's what's important. And because of that, I support Target. All right, so the last question is right here. Are you afraid of heights? It comes from Chris at ChrisWRTP. Am I afraid of heights? I am very afraid of heights, but I was in scouts. I did the rappelling from 50 feet high, and it, but the thing is, is once I get started, it's okay. But am I afraid of heights? If you go and you look at this video right here, you're gonna see that I went and I was bungee jumping. Uh, I was in Acapulco, Mexico, a director, because I was shooting a film, said nobody has enough uh, courage to do that. I was like, you know, I'm always up for a challenge. So I went and I said, you don't think I'll do it? I'm going to do it. So I went and sure enough, 200 feet in the air, bungee jump, down to a pool, and that's what it is. So if you want to see that video, it's right here. But anyways, I want to take the time to thank you guys. You guys responded to this very well. Thank you for sending me the questions. If you have any more questions, blow up my Twitter feed, direct message me, whatever method, leave a comment in the section below if you have any more questions or if you like this video, let me know more about you guys. I'm gonna let you know more about me. But anyways, that's gonna be it for today, you guys. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to like, subscribe, Share this video with as many people. Let's get Tilly Vision. Let's get Tilly Vision in the homes of everybody. Why would they want to watch Tilly? Uh, tele Why would you want to watch television when you can watch Tilly Vision, right? Anyways, like, subscribe, favorite, and that's it.